Guys, welcome back. Today we are removing the battery from this 2012 Ford Focus electric and it is a beast. I spared you guys the BS and watch me take the bolts out because you guys just want to see the money shot. Money shot. <laughs> and so, yeah, here we are. We've got the, uh, I got the battery unbolted. There's two hoses, three, four electrical connectors, and, uh, and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> two hoses on the driver's side that aren't too hard to disconnect. There's four electrical connectors, and one fuse that have to be disconnected. And uh, then we just roll this guy out, <clears throat> and he is a beast. Look at how big he is. He is so stinking huge. And to get him out, now what I used was a uh, Harbor Freight transmission jack. So here's the fuse right here. One, two, three bolts. Um, there's a mount that I disconnected that this mount right here, four bolts. There's one, two, uh, one, two, three, four. One, one two, three, four on each side basically. And then what you do is you just slide this bad boy out. And there he is. He's gigantic, huh? And like I said, I use the uh, Harbor Freight Transmission Jack. <laughs> that thing is gigantic. That tranny jack makes it easy work. So um, the next thing we're going to be doing in a future video is what's happened to him. Sorry, I'm out of breath. That sucker was hard to get out of there. I mean, it was easy. Whew. Part of it is I wear a dust mask too because it is, I mean, if you look at the top there, it's filthy. I'm gonna write, I love J and T on it. That's my wife initials and my baby's initials. I heart J. And T. <laughs> That's silly, huh? Um, what what happened with this battery was I I neglected to replace the cooling fan when I should have, and I, these systems obviously they have life cycles, so they're gonna have a, it's gonna have a preferred life cycle, and it started leaking fluid, cooling fluid inside. Um, I don't know from which, you know, there's no telling which one of these um, it's leaking from. So, but like I said, we're gonna go ahead and pull the top off in a future video and inspect it. And the way I found out it was leaking was this, this model, this 2012, it'll throw up the uh, triangle of death on the gauge cluster and uh, after a certain time, it'll tell you to just stop driving. Um, if you go into a shutoff, like if you turn it off after it tells you to do that, it'll just basically brick itself on the side of the road. So what you have to do is you have to, it, and you can reset it a million times and it'll, you know, keep locking you out, which is annoying. At the same time, it's kind of awesome because it's like, hey, fix your battery. Yeah, we understand it's broken and you want to get home. No problem. Well, fix it. It won't let you just leave it like that and override it. Because there's hexadecimal um, program code that you can change inside the computer brain. And um, whenever you do that, it'll say um, invalid sum. That's what it'll say. Invalid sum. And it'll just automatically put it back to one that will make it to where the battery electronic control module, what charges the battery and takes care of this and everything, it'll just tell it not to charge it or anything. It's 
these cards are so smart. It won't let you be stupid. <laughs> and so uh, that's what we have. This, like I said, this battery is huge. I know he weighs probably a few hundred pounds. And he is, let's see, he's three feet by, three feet by basically two and a half feet. And almost, uh, not quite a foot thick. I mean, maybe at, like his thickest part, he's, he's about 10 inches thick. And all together in these, in these little Fords, there's 86 battery modules inside these batteries. Not the lower one, I don't know how many's in the lower, but all together there's 86. And the computer, when, when you use Forescan on it, it doesn't break down how many is in each one. And so that's something we're gonna have to look for. But anyway, there's drain plugs on the bottom of this thing. And so I popped the drain plugs on it, on the bottom of the battery, one, uh, there's one back here in this corner and then one back there in that corner on the bottom and the The fluid just drained poured out of them and so I was like, oh, okay, so it is definitely in need of service so I did that and um, <clears throat> That actually made it to where the car would let me drive it again just draining all the fluid out of the battery let me actually drive the car in and out of the garage. Cause what I was having to do was I was taking my lawn tractor and I had one of those knee pads from Harbor Freight, kind of like this rainbow one I have here, but a little squarer and beefier. And I zip tied it to the bumper on my lawn tractor and I was using my lawn tractor to shove this right in and out until I found out about the drain plugs. And I drained it and it, for some reason it let me uh it let me go ahead and do that so it's still leaking fluid inside there though so we're gonna get that fixed up and we're gonna get this guy put back in now to do this job you have to lift this thing like not quite up to the sky but look at that i mean you gotta lift this sucker you got a jack and then i made two bundles of uh, blocking we call it cribbing I, I did uh, four layers of cribbing under there and those are all screwed together each of those cribbing and then these jack stands are almost at maximum height and then this uh, Harbor Freight jack transmission jack is the bees knees I mean it is super awesome so that's what we're doing with that I'm gonna go ahead and roll this guy over here so you guys can uh, stare at him in awe with me if you guys want to uh, get a good look at him or, you know, if you just want to stare at him or whatever. I'm just putting it over here because this is where we're going to be working on the map. Right here. So that's it. And um, I can go ahead and let me see. Make sure you guys are still in frame. Oh yeah, perfect. Well, almost perfect. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna jack him up for fun. But this tranny jack, I don't even know if you're allowed to say tranny anymore. It might be like, is that like hate speech now? <laughs> I mean, this thing works so good for this. Um, what I did was, I turned the supports that normally there's supports that have these Little, they go out like this, and then there's a little fork of angle iron that pokes up out of it. I just flip them upside down and um, spread them out. So, I mean, there's a big base under there. You can't really see it that well from right there. And uh, that's it.